Hey guys, so today we're gonna go over some retouching techniques that I use on uh, all my portraits. Uh, so we're first gonna go over just blemish removal um, as well as uh, frequency separation. Um, I do that on most of my portraits um, and I'll show you guys how to, at least how I do that. Um, so today I went with Leighton to a sunflower field. It wasn't done or it wasn't ready yet. Um, so we did not shoot anything. Um, so you'll see I have it under latent sunflower fail. Uh, we managed to still get some shots. Um, so we're gonna work on this shot right here. So I'm just gonna double click on that. Um, it's gonna get us into Photoshop. Um, so what I usually start off with is I jump over to lens correction and do a removal of chromatic aberration as well as enable profile corrections. Um, so just kind of like it's with the glass of the lens, um, it just helps uh, correct that. Um, so I just do some basic minor adjustments right away. I just notice the highlights kind of a little too much and then I just play with the exposure. It's a little too bright so I'm just gonna knock it down. Okay, so that is literally all I do right after I take the picture. Um, and then open the image. So it's gonna create a layer now in Photoshop. And so right away we're just gonna start off with basic basic blemish removals. So Lane's got some great skin, so I'm gonna just, so I hit, just uh, sh the shortcut is J. J gets you right over to the spot healing brush tool. Um, and basically the, any three of those you're clicked on, it'll jump to. So we're just gonna use a spot removing tool real quick. This is, I like to use this when I'm just like really quick in a rush. And like I said, her skin is good. So we're just gonna be able to just do a quick few removals just on stuff that I'm noticing. And like I said, this is nice and just like quick. Okay. And so you notice these like baby hairs. This is like one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate these ones. Um, so I'm still on J, the shortcut J. And I jump over here, the patch tool. The patch tool is super, super, super helpful for me. Because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to draw over the area you want to get rid of. And then now you move over to a spot. Boom. Command D to get rid of the selection. And it's gone. So there it is. Go. So I'm going to do that with these baby hairs. Same thing. I'm just going to move over here. Right in the same area. Boom. Go. I can still see there's some other ones. So I'll just quickly do that. So these are just minor corrections I'm doing that like most people probably leave or they just don't really care. So I just do that. I'll probably get rid of this as well. So quick selection, grab it, move it. Quick selection, grab it, move it. Same thing here. Just some small stuff. Okay, so as you can see, this one too, like I know this, I, no one else would really care, but I'm just really nitpicky, so gone, boom. All right, so I zoom out, look at the overall picture. We were in like an area, we were in an area where there was just a ton of, ton of bugs. Um, and this was before the bus, so there's a bug bite right there. Like I said, hit J, make sure you're on the spot healing brush, and then boom, gone. So just do a quick check over everything. Just zoom in, cause like I said, zoom in and out. Like I said, I just look for small little things that bother me. Just that. Okay, zoom back out. So boom, there you go. That's just blemish removal. Look at that, it took five minutes. So now we're gonna get to frequency separation. So what frequency separation does is it basically pulls two layers um, of the image. So you're gonna get the texture of the image pulled on one layer, plus you're gonna take the bottom layer, which is like the shadows, tones, and you're gonna completely separate them so you can work on either one. Um, so to do that, we're gonna start with Command J once, J twice. So a total of three layers. You're going to turn off the top layer, so then you can work on the second layer. And so what I like to do is you go to Filter, Blur, uh, Gaussian blur, I, 
don't think I'm pronouncing it right, Gazen, Gazenburg. And then I like to start off with just the radius of 10. So as soon as you hit OK, this is now the first, uh, the, technically the second, but the first layer that we talked about that you're splitting. And then you then select the top layer, click on that to make sure that you're selected on that layer so you're working on it. I then go to image, apply image. So this is where you're gonna wanna make sure this is all accurate or it's not gonna work for you. So you're gonna hit which layer you're gonna work on. We're gonna be working off of that first layer that we made. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure in blending, you're in subtract. So then once you've done that, the opacity should be at 100%, scale to offset 128. And don't check these ones. As long as that all looks good, you hit okay. And then like before you do that, you can check preview. Preview will show you if you're doing it right, basically. Should look like that if you did it correctly. And then just hit okay. So now obviously you don't want to be just working in this gray area. So in order to fix that, you're going to go to changing the type of layer from normal. You're going to go all the way down to linear light. Boom. So now that you have these layers, so this is the second layer we talked about where it's tones um, and shadows. And then this is the top layer where it's just texture. So what I like to do now is I like to zoom in on the face. I go to select on layer one. And this is now where I do the skin uh, of my work. So hit B to be on the brush. And then decent sized brush. All right, so now I'm gonna hit Command Q. So what that allows me to do, it allows me to draw a selection. So everywhere you see this red, that is going to be a selection. So let's just use a quick example. If I hit Q, that is the selection that um, I have now made. So I like to do that because I only like to work on certain pieces of the face. So for instance, I like to do the forehead always, the bridge of the nose usually. It's just the way I correct things to make sure everything is fully smooth. And then sometimes, depending on if this side's focused, which it's 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 not as focused as this these spots, I'm gonna leave that. So I hit commute Q. So now that is the selection I will only be affecting only affecting this area and so I have to hit shift command I to invert it the layer because now this is the selection I have everything in red will not get touched so with that being said I then go to filter blur gauze blur and I only go to up it's usually my go-to some skin like everyone's skin is different um, but that's usually my go-to I don't like to go too far up a lot of people do that, but then it makes the skin like too smooth, where it looks like kind of like a Barbie. Um, so you just gotta kind of play with it. Every, like I said, everyone's skin is different, so you have to just play with those parameters. And boom, that's all I touch for like skin frequency separation. Like I only touch the forehead, the bridge of the nose, and the cheeks. Um, you can go do the whole body, um, but I don't want to affect anything just like to keep it everything kind of natural except for the face just because that's the main focal point and then if you group these together you could show you like kind of the before and after by just turning on and off the layer so that is what we did like I said it's super 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 minor but for like the overall ending of the picture it's like necessary so you'll, you'll notice like you can see texture a little bit more and then everything's not so like one smooth layer but once you turn on everything's nice and smooth so yeah that was uh the skin frequency separation and retouching just like blemishes so i'll probably be doing this every sunday so far um, if this video is even good i don't know if i'll post it um, but yeah, I'll be doing Soda Boy settings every Sunday, so uh, look for that. Um, yeah, if not, I'll probably redo this, but thanks for watching.